This week I'm testing the fully electric MG ZS. It's a small five-seater SUV. We're going to find out how good it is as a baby drive. And don't forget to like and follow and subscribe on our socials. The jump seat section in this video is brought to you by InfraSecure. In the back of the MG ZS there are Isofix in the two outer rear seats. They're not within plastic guides but they're nice and easy to connect to. On the back of all three seat backs are top tether anchorages that are easily accessible through the boot. They're not within plastic guides but again nice and easy to connect to. Now I surprisingly could fit three InfraSecure child seats across this second row. I've got the Serene and the Optima in the outer seats and the versatile folding booster in the central seat. Now legroom is surprisingly good in here too. We could fit a 186 centimetre passenger in front of a rear facing child seat and on the driver's side we could fit a 180 centimetre driver in front of a rear facing child seat. Storage in the back of the ZS is really minimal. There are no cup holders in the back here, just the door bins. They will hold a large refillable water bottle and there's the storage handle wells too. And there's a little shelf in the back of the central console box good for a phone and there's a USB socket there too. Storage in the front is good. There are two cup holders in the central console. They'll hold a reusable and a disposable coffee cup and a large refillable water bottle fits in there too. Now behind it is a really small central console box and in front of the gear knob is a shelf for charging your phone and there's another shelf lower down from that and that's got your 12 volt socket and two USB ports there too. Now there's a sunglasses case in the ceiling and the glove box is a good size that will hold my iPad with the manual and the door bins are a good size too. They'll hold a large refillable water bottle and an iPad and there's the storage handle wells too. Now the big sunroof in here is a consideration for the summer, it will warm things up in here, especially as there are no rear air vents in the ZS, so little passengers may start to get a bit too warm. The boot door of the ZS opens manually and quietly, and the boot floor drops down about 10 centimetres, which gives you much more space in the boot for storage. Let's find out how much we can fit in the boot. Empty, it will hold nine shopping bags or the twin stroller with no shopping bags, a tandem pram with two shopping bags, a single pram with two shopping bags, or a compact stroller and six shopping bags, or a medium sized dog. Now to charge the ZS EV, you just pop the badge up at the front here and the charging points are underneath. It's nice and simple. Now the ZS is the most affordable fully electric five-seater SUV on the market in Australia at the moment. There is the Kona which has a much bigger range and the Nissan Leaf which is similar at around 270 kilometers. Now this ZS has all the benefits of being a fully electric car, like a nice quiet start, being able to drive your children to sleep without using fuel, all those kind of things. Now it is really nice to drive, I do find it's nippy and being small it's easy around town and supermarket and school car parks. I do find on the motorway the lane keep assist has you bouncing around the lane, makes the steering really light, it's a bit like being a pinball but as soon as I turn that off it's much nicer to drive. The media system in the MG ZS is quite basic and simple to use. Now you can go into the car screen and really customise your driving assistance. You can also go into the setup screen and minimise a lot of the beeps, which is really good too. Now it does have sat nav built in and CarPlay and Android Auto, which is great. And when I put it into reverse, that camera image, it does fill the whole screen, but it is really milky and I do find it a little bit tricky to use this week while I've been driving. So to sum up with the fully electric MG ZS, it's a really nice little family SUV. Being electric, it is nice and quiet and it comes with all those benefits. You can get those three child seats across in the back and that boot space is good for a small SUV like this. The media system is good and the drive is good too if you turn off that lane keep assist. Mm -hmm.